Oh, Bob, these hips, I'm telling you. Getting oh, old. Yeah. If your hips feel tight when you stand up and you start walking or you find yourself leaning forward while you walk, or maybe a family member said, you know, you're leaning forward. We're going to have some exercises for your hips that are going to correct this, make you feel better walking and even better balance. I do these every day. Man. Bob does them every day, yeah. so that means you concur. I concur. If, I, if we concur with each other, you know we're spot on. We're good. Yeah. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, before we go any farther, I just want to say these stretches are going to be good for your hips, whether or not you have painful hips now. You'll be hip. Yeah, or you're flexed <laughs> over. You're going to, uh, it's good for maintenance. It's going to prevent right. problems with your hips if you don't have the problems now. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to show them in two positions, supine, lying down, or in a chair. So gotcha. we'll be right back. Okay, Bob's going to demonstrate if you're on a bed, on the end of a bed in this stretch, I'm going to demonstrate the same stretch in a seated chair. Uh, it's simply bringing a knee to your chest to start out with. So in the chair, I'm going to pull up here. Bob's pulling up there. If you want to noodle it a little bit, you can bring that knee back and forth. In a chair, you might find if you slouch out a little bit, you get a little extra range of motion. And make sure you do it on both legs. You're going to only spend about 15 to 30 seconds so per Brad, leg. I'm all stretching my hip flexor. Yep. So the advantage of doing it on the edge of the bed, like Bob is showing, he's bringing the knee up, and he's also stretching the hip flexor. Uh, on the opposite yep. side. Uh, switch legs once, Bob, so you can. There. So this hip flexor is being stretched right here, going down. If it's not enough stretch, you can simply, simply start so your body is hanging over the edge, so the knee is farther off the edge of the bed, either to the right or down in that direction. Now, if you're in a chair to get the hip flexor, it's a little more challenging. Um, you'll need a chair without an armrest, a pillow on the floor or carpeted so that your knee is comfortable, and I'm going to just go down like this. Kind of hard to do. Yep, and then I'm going to go back and lean forward and stretch it like this. So that one is a little easier to do. This one, if you're more nimble and you feel comfortable and you got the right chair set up, uh, simply do this. Again, 15 to 30 seconds per leg. Agreed. All right. Okay, the next one is a very common figure four. It can be done lying down, seated. Four. There we go. So... Bob's like that, you may want to take that knee and push it away from you. If you're doing it in a seated position, like this, push the knee down. Make sure you do both legs. Now, if you want even a more aggressive stretch, what you can do is, like Bob is doing, grab that knee and pull it forward. A lot of people, bunk. yeah, a lot of people won't be able to do that right. if it's your first time. If you're seated, it's harder to do. You can simply lean forward, but not rounded back. Keep your back straight. Lean forward. I like to keep my elbow on that knee. Lean forward. It pushes that knee down. That hip externally rotates it. Straight back. Same time, 15 to 30 seconds. All right, we got next one, Bob. Okay, another one is hip abduction stretches. Bob's doing it right there. He's got his feet together like the sole or bottom of the foot, the sole together, and simply allow the legs to spread apart. Bob, you got some other options yep. for that? I grab my ankles Yep. and use my elbows. So his feet are actually crossed ankle to ankle. Uh, I cross this way. Yep. Then I go Foot to foot. Foot to foot, and that's more aggressive. Right. Yep. Now, you can do the same thing in a chair. It's a little different, of course. Uh, sit on the edge of the chair and start like this if you want to get a little more aggressive. Go down to the floor. You can do the cross. It's the same thing as what Bob was doing. Stretch elbows, forearms to the knees, stretch down. Foot to foot like this and stretch. Ooh, yes. <sighs> the pickle ripper. <laughs> <laughs> they said it, not me. Uh, yeah. Family <laughs> show. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, anyways, so we've got one more stretch to show. 
Uh, this one is uh, more for the nimble people with fairly good balance. I personally do this one all the time. It feels great on my hips. Uh, I'll use a stool or I have a solid ledge at home actually outside. Whatever it is, you can do it on a stairway as well. You get your foot up and you stretch like this. So I'm getting maximum hip stretch. And what really makes a difference for me is I, we call this noodling. And I'm going to bring this hip out back and forth. I'm going to stretch and just whatever makes that hip want to stretch. Pull it in this way. And I'll spend 15 to 30 seconds on each leg. And boy, does that make me feel good, Bob. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> I still think about the pickle. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> one last one. Okay, and the last one, if you happen to be one of those people that you find yourself walking, flex forward, and it's difficult to straighten up, uh, one thing you can do is lay prone like Bob is and do a press up. As long as it's not painful. Right, you should not Gentle. feel any pain, just a stretch. And you can do, you know, five up to ten of those, stretching the low back, getting your body to have this posture. Uh, you don't have to lie in your stomach to do it. If you can, while standing, put your hands back here like this or like this and stretch up to that vertical position or even beyond it is great. And to do three to five of those every couple hours throughout the day, that's gonna help that posture and keep your balance better, the hips more uh, in line. All right, Bob, once again, we got through another episode. Um, and we can fix it just well anything. Except for the, pick, I mean the broken. Broken heart. <laughs> a wrong pickle. Broken heart, I'm doing pretty good. Uh. Broken pickle. <laughs> <laughs>